When we ask, does the universe have an end? We aren't talking about infinity. We are talking about the edge of our vision. Think of the observable universe as our personal cosmic bubble centered right here on Earth. It extends about 46.5 billion light years in every direction. That boundary is our hard limit. Beyond it lies the Hubble volume, where galaxies are disappearing from our view forever. Why? Because space out there is expanding faster than the speed of light. Imagine running on a treadmill that is moving faster than you can sprint. No matter how hard you try, you will never reach the end. The light from those distant places will simply never reach us. Inside this massive bubble, it is crowded. Scientists estimate there are at least 200 billion galaxies. To say Earth is like a single grain of sand on a beach isn't just poetry, it is a literal understatement. But what happens at the edge? The most detailed map we have is the cosmic microwave background. Think of it as the universe's baby picture, the afterglow of the Big Bang. It's a wall of fire and ice that marks the beginning of our time. We are technically trapped inside this space-time bubble. We can't step outside to see what's there. But recently, thanks to tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, we've spotted something strange. We call it dark flow. Hundreds of galaxy clusters are drifting toward a specific patch of sky, as if they are being dragged by a massive invisible tractor beam from beyond our universe. Something is out there, pulling on us. Since we can't see through the veil, we are left with three leading theories about the great unknown. Theory number one, the multiverse. Imagine a pot of boiling water. Our universe is just one bubble floating in an eternal cosmic soup. There are countless others out there bumping into each other, each with its own laws of physics. Theory number two, the great void. Think of this like a video game map that hasn't rendered yet. The edge is simply where the code of the universe ends. It's a cold, dark blank space waiting for expansion. And theory number three, the living universe. This is the most mind-bending of all. It suggests our universe is biological. In this scenario, our galaxies are just cells functioning inside a colossal body. We are just a tiny organ, and outside is a living world operating on a scale we can't even comprehend. So, are we a bubble, a blank map, or a cell? We don't know yet. But the search for the edge isn't just about space. It's about finding our place in it.